Now to the secret in Vegas that didn't stay so secret. Uh, and it was 20 years in the making, as we've been telling you. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck finally tying the knot over the weekend. And our Deb Roberts is here with all of those details. Good morning, Deb. Good morning, Amy. You know, that's what I do, right? All those <laughs> details. Well, they gave it a shot all those years ago with big plans when they were much younger and together hitting the stratosphere of stardom. But Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez never made it to the altar. Now, after divorces, five children between the the two of them and some publicized rocky moments in their personal lives and their careers, they have finally said, I do, Vegas style. Yes. I'll marry you. The big romantic moment sealing the deal with that one true love has been at the center of so many movies for Jennifer Lopez. Marry me, marry me, say yes. But now the superstar entertainer says it's finally, truly happening for her. Somebody's getting married. Just saving it, saving it, saving it, and now I'm wearing it on my wedding day. Lopez sharing the stunning news with her fans on Sunday that she and actor-director Ben Affleck tied the knot. Offering details via her online newsletter on the JLo, writing, We did it. Love is beautiful. Love is kind. And it turns out our love is patient. 20 years patient. It was a classic Vegas wedding in a tiny chapel. Lopez revealing we barely made it to the little white wedding chapel by midnight. They graciously stayed open late a few minutes. Lopez telling how they waited in line with four other couples. And this was my wedding changing area. The bride wearing a dress from an old movie and the groom wearing a jacket from his closet. Lopez gushing, it was the best possible wedding we could have imagined, one we dreamed of long ago. These guys realized that they just wanted to be married and low-key was the way to go. Giddy on social media, Lopez wasting no time sharing her long-awaited news with the world, posting this photo on Instagram after the big announcement with the hashtag for if you know, you know. The surprise nuptials coming just three months after the singer announced their engagement. The Hollywood duo became one of the hottest couples back in 2002 after Lopez, an actress and pop icon, and Affleck, now a two-time Oscar winner, met on the set of the ill-fated box office blunder, Gigli. I'm sorry. Do we know each other? Not yet. But the highly publicized romance was doomed. The lavish wedding called off just days before it was to happen, and the relationship over months later in 2004. Later, Lopez um, telling People Magazine about that love. time. We didn't try to have a public relationship. We were kind of the hot couple at the time. And we may have played into that at the beginning because it was fun, and then it was not fun. Then it was like destroying us. Their lives moved on, Affleck later marrying and making a family with actress Jennifer Garner, and Lopez settling down with the singer Mark Anthony and having two children. Both marriages ended, and more romances followed, including Lopez's high-wattage two-year engagement to baseball icon Alex Rodriguez. But the star says Affleck always held the key to her heart. Last year, the two rekindled and made it Instagram official as they celebrated Lopez's 52nd birthday in the south of France. Waiting for tonight. They find themselves single years later, much more mature, much more capable of dealing with fame. He's now several years sober and he's worked really hard on that. And they're at completely different life stages. This is Affleck's second marriage. He told a newspaper recently that his life has been defined and strengthened by second chances. As for Lopez, this is wedding number four, but this time she is apparently all in. As TJ, our hopeless romantic, yeah. says, she's <laughs> J-Lo no more. Mm -hmm. She is officially Mrs. Jennifer Affleck, she tells her fans. Congratulations oh. to them. <laughs> I love this story. There you go. Thank I you, Deb. <laughs> Thank you. Well, where's more? Yes. Let's, let's continue talking about it. Larry Hackett, <laughs> the former editor of People Magazine and co-host of the Entertainment Brothers podcast, joins us now. So, Larry, we know that J-Lo and Ben talked about how the Papa played a role in the trouble of their relationship. It seems like this time they're owning their own message. What is different this time? Well, what's different after 20 years is social media. If you look at the way their romance bloomed the second time around, as you said in the report, there were Instagram postings and things like that. They've learned from people like the Kardashians that you can control this narrative. You can go to Vegas with your makeup artist, your hair, 
uh, someone taking some pictures. You then post this on your own newsletter and you have your own personal people magazine. They've learned that and they've taken control of this narrative. They are in indeed, as you said in the report, they're 20 years older, they're wiser, they don't need attention, they don't want this attention. Um, but the tools of social media have allowed them to control this in ways where they don't need paparazzis or magazines or websites, they do it on their own. What does it mean for their careers? You mean, are we going to see Geely too? <laughs> you you tell me. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think so. It's not out of the question that they might do something together. I don't think it means a whole lot in their careers. You know, careers were always separate from the entity of Benefer uh, for a long time. Okay. Um, so I don't think it's going to have real meaning for that. I think they're going to get. Attention. I think they're still going to get the paparazzi attention they say they don't want. But in terms of their careers, they're kind of independent operators, and I don't see it having a whole lot of bearing on it unless they want to do things together which is entirely possible, and there's going to be a clamoring for that. And, and Larry, why the Vegas route? Because there's not a lot of paparazzi wandering around the 110 degree streets of Vegas on a Saturday afternoon. That's one reason they could have their kids there. It's also very American and middle class. You say Vegas wedding, everybody has an impression of that. If they haven't been there, they know what it's like. It's very romantic. Look, these two, remember something, these two, although they're kind of divas and Hollywood movie stars, they're middle class kids, he's from Cambridge, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, she's from the Bronx. There's something about Vegas that's a continuum and that's more like what they're really like as opposed to the wedding they wanted to have 20 years ago in uh, Montecito, which, you know, never happened. All right, well, George has several follow-ups. We're going to have to leave it here, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it there, Larry. Man, good to see you as always. Thanks right, so guys. much, man. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.